How's it going, YouTube? We'll soon be wrapping up the series, bros. There'll be 10 episodes in the end. And since we've already talked about the arguments, fights, and jealousy going on during our childhood, we told ourselves why not also tell them about the times when we both had to work together to stand up to others. So here it is. Brothers for life! Zero! The score I got on my 8th grade music exam! We were to play a song of our choice, I'd practice Oh, when the Saints! All week! When D-Day comes along, I forget my recorder, what the hell? And you knew nobody was gonna lend me theirs! Only assholes in his class. So I sit down at the piano to improvise, try and send off a little letter to Elise, but she never got it. So I try that Chinese thing with my fist, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I deserve the zero! That very night, he was so worried our parents would find out he didn't even tell me about it! So I wouldn't tell! Except that I already knew, because in my class, I had the little brother of a guy in his class who'd already spilled the beans! I could've blackmailed him forever with something like that! Except for one detail! The very same day, Henry got three hours of detention, which is what saved me! Disruptive behavior, my friends! He poked the guy sitting next to him with a compass, the fool! But he started you it! You can't just go stabbing someone with a needle like that, D'Artagnan! We, we ended, ended up signing a mutual silence, silence agreement. agreement. I changed my zero discreetly into a nine, he doesn't tell, and in return, I signed the note about his behavior instead of our parents. Come on, guys, my brother was so gung-ho about copying their signatures, even their handwriting, right down to the last pixel. He really has, like, a superpower, which is even more amazing because if you recall, my mother's a doctor! Me? If you want, I can prescribe you anything you like. I'll just swipe your prescription pad, it'll be classic. You have a headache? Sorry, it's chemotherapy, pal. A tumor? <sighs> Aspirin, it'll go away. And some of the funniest times were when we team up to drive our parents crazy. So, Henry, how much is three times seven? Uh, tw 22? <laughs> That's incorrect. It's 21. 21. Now start paying attention. At your age, your brother knew every one of these by heart. <sighs> Don't listen to her. She's lying. <laughs> Every year on Chinese New Year, our parents gave us money as a gift, but they never gave me enough to buy myself a video game, deliberately! So, of course, with Kevin, we'd put our two fortunes together and sneak off to score a game to buy one. One year, we added up Christmas, New Year's, the Chinese New Year, and our two birthdays. We came back with two DS's and five games. It was fantastic. The only problem is that our parents finally figured out our scheme. Well, when you come home from work every night and you see your kids snaking like crazy on Rainbow Road, eventually you think, I didn't buy that thing! Which means the next Chinese New Year, not even a cent! What's worse is that they asked our nanny to go out and spy on us! I swear to you, I am not joking. It really happened! And I'll never understand why! I mean, when you give us some pocket money, and you know we really, really want something, you can't then tell us we can't use it to buy that very thing! Especially for something legal! In that case, don't give us any money at all! Nope. The worst part is my parents thought it was all my fault! They said I was a bad influence on Henry and accused me of getting him into trouble! When he's the one who's addicted to video games! No way around it! According to my mom, the money wasn't meant for games, so the very next Christmas, no more cash! There. That way you've got your Mario. You two are so cute in those little sweaters. <laughs> oh yeah, my clothes. Oh la la. Until I was 10 years old, all I wore were Kevin's hand-me-downs. Except at the same age, he was fatter than me. So I walked around looking like a penguin when I was little. No, seriously, just whoa, take a whoa, look whoa, at- whoa. What are you doing? We're not supposed to fight in this video. Shit, you're right, sorry. Oh yeah, my clothes, oh la la. Until I was 10 years old, all I wore were Kevin's hand-me-downs. Except at the same age, he was fatter than me. So I walked around looking like a penguin when I was little. No, seriously, just take a look. Am I cute or what? Thanks, big brother. How's that for you? Act better! When I think about it, we spent all our time hanging out, just the two of us. We didn't need anyone else. If you wanted to be friends with one of us, we both had to be okay with it. Hey guys, can I play with you? <laughs> Even today, if Kevin or I don't validate someone, he doesn't get in the click. The only problem is Kevin doesn't like anybody, so it gets complicated. How many times have I told myself, hey, that guy seems super nice. I bet we'd get along really well. But since my brother doesn't like him, the guy could fuck himself. Oh, the enemies of my enemies are my enemies. I'm not on this planet to make friends, you know. I have a mission to accomplish, I finish it, then disappear. It's not that I don't like anybody. 
It's that I hate everybody, two different things. And I'm not gonna go have a drink with someone that Henry doesn't trust. Most of the time, we don't even have to say anything. We just look at each other and know exactly what the other's thinking. Saves a lot of time. Besides, when we open our mouths, it's always to say the same thing. So here's a list of expressions my brother and I use all the time. What's up, my bro? Oh, that's freaking insane! Oh, get out of here! Stung dum, stung dum. The bro did it again. Yeah, the bro did it again. I got you. Hey, shut you up! Come on up! Singapore. You I made, made it there, yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! What makes me the happiest of all is that while growing up, our relationship never stopped evolving. For the better, of course. And sometimes, these days, I give a little advice to Kevin about certain things. But he's always really surprised, as if he can't quite believe that I might have a good idea once in a while. Staring at me like, maybe this kid is not as dumb as he looks. Hey, hold on, bro. Take it easy. You know I'd never do anything like that. I've always thought of you as someone eminent. I mean, what? Anyway, if you have brothers and sisters, take good care of them, because once you're older and join forces with them, you're gonna feel totally invincible. Wait a minute, I was supposed to say that line. What do you mean I was supposed to say it? <laughs> Bro. Get out of here! You're three years old! You're three years old, you're stupid! I'll stop filming if you keep it up!